School officials are trying to prevent more injuries after a sixth grader's computer caught fire and burned him so badly that he had to go to the hospital. Now we just got an update from the Uxbridge School Superintendent. He says all students with this version Chromebook need to turn them in tomorrow morning. And because of the disruption, some MCAS testing is on hold. Tonight we've also learned thousands of these laptops are used in schools across the country. And as WBZ's Julie McDonald shows us, parents and teachers are wondering if other kids are at risk. Well, the company that makes these Chromebooks says there are about 155,000 of this model in use across the country, and this has never happened before. They're taking it very seriously, though, sending a technician here to the school tomorrow. Loner Chromebooks are on the way to Uxbridge, some 450 devices so that students can turn in their laptops to make sure they're safe. It's scary, it's scary looking stuff. The stress of MCAS testing was interrupted, then exacerbated by the evacuation of the Witten School Tuesday morning. There was significant smoke and um, it did trigger the fire alarms. That smoke from a sixth grader's school issued Chromebook new this year. Um, that computer's been removed from the building. We're venting the library. Students were evacuated for more than an hour as police and firefighters were inside. Meanwhile, the superintendent visited that child who'd been picked up from school. When I made contact, uh, he did not have bandages on his hand. He had an ice pack on his hand. Mm -hmm. And um, the, his mom was just preparing to take him for, uh, for treatment. MCAS testing is postponed for students in grades four through six. State education regulations call for all MCAS testing to be completed by April 26th. And Uxbridge Fire did put out a statement with some laptop safety reminders. Always unplug the devices when you go to sleep or leave the house and never leave them plugged in on top of a couch or bed, which can restrict airflow and heat up inside the device. In Uxbridge, Julie McDonald, WBZ News. Julie, thank you. The next weather